Welcome to our midweek Advent devotion at Faith Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Chris, and I'm so glad that you joined us as we prepare for the coming of our King. Let's join together now and begin our devotion in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Advent pilgrimage takes us to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. Today we'll begin with verse 26. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. This is the Gospel of our Lord. What do you think when someone greets you, Merry Christmas? Do you return that greeting in your heartiest, ho, ho, ho voice, Merry Christmas? Or do you take a more neutral approach and wish that person Happy Holidays in return, not wanting to cause any offense? Or maybe there's a third door that you choose while you might barely manage to squeak out Merry Christmas from between your teeth, inwardly, you're really thinking to yourself, Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas? What's so merry about it? All it means is that I'm a day late and a dollar short. There's a never-ending list of things that I need to check off, or not only won't this Christmas be merry, it just won't be Christmas at all. Are you feeling that Christmas craze and the holiday haze? Do you have that frenzied face and the Amazon race and maybe even that shopping mall days and the parking lot rage? And we're supposed to say, Merry Christmas? Humbug. But take a moment and imagine with me, not Merry Christmas, but Merry Christmas. Did you catch that? Merry with an M-A-R-Y. Seriously, though, imagine her life. She's just going about her day as normal when out of thin air appears the angel Gabriel and says, Merry! Christmas, you're going to be the mother of the Messiah. Luke tells us that when Mary heard that news, she was, well, troubled. Do you think that's because there were dishes in the sink in a car that needed a repair? Was she thinking about the laundry she needed to fold or the meals that she needed to prepare? I really doubt that Christmas tree lights, or fruitcake, or snowmen, or secret Santa, or the COVID-15 were even on her mind. While she undoubtedly had questions, I mean, who wouldn't? She knew about basic biology. More than that, she had faith. It's quite clear that she reckoned she could have a Merry Christmas as long as God was in control. And that, my friends, that's what makes Christmas so beautiful. Merry's Christmas and ours as well. You can have a Merry Christmas just like Mary because God's got you this Christmas. So put your faith in the person that Mary did. In Jesus, the Son of the Most High. 
the one whose kingdom still lasts in our day, the one whose kingdom will last eternally. Let Jesus, the King of kings, rule and reign in your heart and defend you against that Christmas craze and the holiday haze even better. May Jesus take away all your worries and concerns, all your doubts and your fears, your lovelessness and your joylessness, all your sins, and give you a Merry Christmas. Amen. Will you pray with me? Dear Jesus, Remove the barriers that we've built in our hearts that keep us from finding peace and joy this Christmas season. Be near us, Lord Jesus, and rule and reign in our hearts, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by.